like that. You can put it like that, but let's see how many's on there so far, because you're the only one that's going to be eating this meat. Save, um, no, actually put the one that in your right hand, put that back in the bowl, and we'll just work with that so far, because Val and I aren't eating the meat. And this, this little convection oven, it fries and bakes and boils, it does everything. So we're air frying some chicken, okay, and the chicken. Spraying the chicken, chicken puts just a tiny bit of a crust on it since we're not using any flour or anything. And then once it cooks on that side, we'll switch it. Oh, no, that's hot. You use your glove. Okay. There you go. Push it all the way back in there. Close it. And we'll check it out. Okay, Zaire is air frying some chicken in our air fryer here. Oh, it's almost time to turn it over. That cooks so fast. Pull it halfway out, Zaire. I love this convection oven. It does so much stuff. So he's learning how to air fry some chicken. Let's take a look at it. I think we have a few more minutes to go on that side before we need to turn it over, okay? Okay, tell me what you're cooking. Everybody, I'm making some cabbage. So Zaire's about to make some cabbage. And he's got his chicken in the oven. And it's um, cooking. We're air frying his chicken. So he's about to make some cabbage for the first time so we put some oil in the pan and um, I'm gonna be handing him kind of what I want in there put a little bit of sesame seed oil Zaire, in there just a little bit we've got some regular oil in the pan okay and that'll do it that'll do it go slow got a heavy hand go ahead and put your onions in there okay Onions cooked down. We're going to add some hoisin sauce. I love this stuff, you guys. If you can see it, it's like an Asian barbecue kind of sauce. It has a really good taste to it. I like the way it gives uh, cabbage in particular. You know, how you go out to an Asian restaurant and you have that kind of sweet teriyaki taste to your cabbage just a little bit. That's the flavor that it gives it, and I really like it a lot. So after we saute the onions down, we're going to pour some of that sauce in there. And then we'll add the cabbage. The cabbage. And now go ahead and put your spoon down and get your hoisin sauce ready. Shake that up before you open it. Shake it up really good. Okay. And then I want you to pour it slowly. Really slow. Because you don't want to put too much in there. Get in the middle. And you will have to squeeze with both hands. Okay, go ahead and stir that in. Good job. We probably have to add some more to taste as we cook it. You can use two hands and slowly start to add your cabbage. Watch your okay, make sure that there you go. first before we're able to turn it. Put this one down and we're both in. Mm -hmm. okay. Turn it the other way. So we'll let that cook for a few minutes and we'll check it. And now he's checking his chicken. Looks like it's all it's time to flip them over and we're gonna spray them again and cook them on the other side. How's it looking? Looking good. good. It does, doesn't it? Use the brown spoon. So we're checking the cabbage. I added a little bit more poison sauce and some soy sauce and a sprinkle of tad bit of sugar on there. And um, like I said, I like the teriyaki flavor of cabbage. I added a little bit more of onion powder and some garlic powder. And that's looking so good. It's looking like a good Asian stir fried cabbage. So now that Zaire's chicken is cooking, it's almost done. His cabbage is steaming and frying, or whatever you want to call it in a grill. Now he's about to make his garlic butter sauce for his garlic parmesan chicken wings that he loves. So his butter is melting. And once that melts a little bit, higher, you're going to add a little garlic with your spoon. Ooh, Zaire, look at your air fried chicken wings. They're looking so good. They fried really good. I give it maybe another 
minute or two and then we're going to put them in the garlic butter and sprinkle them with your cheese and you're going to be good to go all right we'll go ahead and close that up go ahead and add some garlic that should be enough because you put a heaping spoonful in there so one should be enough okay and sprinkle some in there go slowly because you got a heavy hand with the sprinkles okay go ahead and stir that in there That air fried chicken looks really good, Zaire. Thank you. We're going to finish your sauce and pour it over there. Oh, that cabbage looks really good. Ice, and that's going to be din din. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go slow all over it. Okay. That looks good. There you have it, Zaire's garlic parmesan butter chicken that he loves. Bon appetit!